Hadacha, Additions to Esther, 5. After these things did King Achash Vorosh promote Eth Haman, the son of Hamadatha, the Agagi, and advanced him, and set at his seat above all the princes that were with him. And all the king's servants that were in the king's gate bowed and reverenced Haman, for the king had so commanded concerning him. But Mordecai bowed not, nor did him reverence. Then the king's servants which were in the king's gate said unto Mordechai, Why transgress you at the king's commandment? Now it came to pass, when they spoke daily unto him, and he hearkened not unto them, that they told Haman to see whether Mordecai's matter would stand. For he had told them that he was a Yahudi. And when Haman saw that Mordecai bowed not, nor did him reverence, then was Haman full of wrath. And he thought scorn to lay hands on Mordechai alone, for they had showed him eth the people of Mordechai. Wherefore Haman sought to destroy eth all the Yahudim that were throughout the whole kingdom of Achashvorosh, even the people of Mordechai. In the first month, that is the month Nichan, in the twelfth year of King Achash Vorosh, they cast Pur, that is, the lot, before Haman, from day to day, and from month to month, to the twelfth month, that is, the month Adar. And Haman said unto King Achash Vorosh, There is a certain people scattered abroad, and dispersed among the people in all the provinces of your kingdom, and their Torah is diverse from all people. Neither keep they at the king's laws. Therefore it is not for the king's profit to suffer them. If it please the king, let it be written that they may be destroyed. And I will pay ten thousand talents of silver to the hands of those that have the charge of the business, to bring it into the king's treasuries. And the king took Eth his ring from his hand, and gave it unto Haman the son of Hamadatha, the Agagi, the Yahudim's enemy. And the king said unto Haman, The silver is given to you, the people also, to do with them as it seems good to you. Then were the king's scribes called on the thirteenth day of the first month, and there was written according to all that Haman had commanded unto the king's lieutenants and to the governors that were over every province and to the rulers of every people of every province according to the writing thereof, and to every people after their language. In the name of King Achashvorosh was it written, and sealed with the king's ring. And the Sepharim were sent by posts into all the king's provinces to destroy, to kill, and to cause to perish, Eth all Yahudim, both young and old, little children and women, in one day, even upon the thirteenth day of the twelfth month, which is the month Adar, and to take the spoil of them for prey.